Hi design darlings, I'm Tanisha Denise, crafter, DIYer, and stay-at-home mommer, and I'm here today to share with you five alternatives to keeping a traditional gratitude journal. So this is a series on positivity and self-care, mental health, and just keeping yourself sane in an insane world. And um, it's geared towards creatives, but if you're a person who is interested in creative, visual art, writing, journaling, then this may be a good series for you. I also have a website, designdarlings.club. It's darlings with the S and .club, not .com. So if you're interested, go ahead and join over there. And what you would be doing is just joining my um, subscription list for weekly emails that are geared towards the same topic. And you would also get freebies such as a uh, four weeks of gratitude journal prompts. That's a freebie that's available right now. And I'm actually working on a new freebie. And if you are already subscribed, you will already have the freebie. And it is a self-care book. That's a self-care vacation book. So you'll go on vacations of self-care during the next month. But for right now, we're going to talk about gratitude. So here are five alternatives to keeping a traditional gratitude journal. One online pictures. You can keep a folder on your phone, take pictures of things you're grateful for, and keep it as simple as that. If you're not a journaler, if you're not a writer, if you're not a person, or if you're still trying to figure out where you're going to find time to do this journaling, maybe just start with a very simple keep a folder of pictures and label it gratitude. When you take a picture of your child and it's just a picture that you love, put it in there. When you take a picture of your food and your food is just delicious, put it in there. So different photos of things that you take, it's an um, online gratitude journal. You can also do artistic gratitude journals. So instead of writing, you can do collages or pictures. So um, you could just take pictures from magazines that, that inspire you or encourage you towards your gratitude. So it could be pictures of nice homes and it makes you think that you're grateful to have a home or, or any sort of thing. So maybe you should try artistic gratitude. Three, a doodle journal. So maybe you just sketch little pictures or make little doodles that represent what you're grateful for. Maybe you even put the word food and then you just draw a bunch of chicken wings or something. And it could even just be an exercise and um, mindfulness and just taking some time to yourself to do something repetitive that'll just kind of relax you. But doodling is an alternative for a traditional writing journal. Or you could still write a journal, but just keep it very brief and just keep it very simple. So you could put one through five and just one through five one word answers of what you're grateful for that day. Five, you could keep a gratitude journal online in a place such as Pinterest or a place like Facebook or any of your social media sites. You might even make an Instagram account that's all about your gratitude and then you um, keep a catalog of pictures there of things you're grat grateful for. So those are five alternatives to traditional gratitude journals. I think that um, if that's something that you're interested in, um, if you understand how much it can help you stay positive and stay in a good frame of mind, then you should definitely consider keeping one. Don't feel bound by any constraints. Don't feel like if you stopped one day, you, you no longer are in the gratitude journal club. It's okay if, you know, if you miss a day or two, um, it's okay if you feel like you want to paint what you're grateful for, but I do think all people should practice it and try it out and see how it can just improve yourself mentally. I know that it's helped me be a lot more positive and um, helped me turn my thinking around regarding several things in my life. So yeah, I just want to encourage you to do that. Again, if you're interested and you want to dive deeper, you want more information, go to designdarlings.club and that's where you can get a freebie. And then you can also sign up to my weekly newsletter. Um, I'll be having a blog there that'll have some of my old newsletters. So if you have not signed up before, you can still find that those things there, but it'll just be later. You will be getting it directly sent to you and um, a lot sooner. And so you, you won't miss anything if you sign up to the newsletter. And also, if I told you anything that you like in this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me and have a beautiful and wonderful day.